Hey, hey, friends on social media. It's Stephen Middleton from the Possibility Action Network. I am Possibility Man. We are closing out the year 2022. We've made it this far. We only have a couple of more days to go before we start a new year. And like many of you, I want to wish all of you a happy new year. And I know that you are dreaming. You know, around the world, at this time of year, people are making New Year's resolutions. And I want to just share a couple of things now that I hope to talk more and more about in 2023. You know, when you've lived on the planet for as long as I have, you've learned a few things along the way. And I just want to share a tip that I've learned with you that will empower you to become your best self. Now, I know that there are speakers and teachers and coaches from around the world who are offering techniques and hacks and how to make this happen. And I want to lend my voice to it. But I want to say now from the outset that what I'm going to share now is not about force. It's not about how strong you are. It's not about how fast you can run. It's not about how quickly you can punch or all of the martial arts stuff that you can do. I want to point you back to something that you have known ever since that you were young. Now, it's easy to forget because we get it beat out of us as we grow up. In fact, I can remember growing up as a kid, you know, I used to speak up in Sunday school. Before I was 13 years of age, I used to review the Sunday school lesson with people who attended Sunday school. I just, as a kid, just you know, before 13 years of age, I would recite scriptures and things like that because I just felt it was natural to be able to do that. But by the time I was 16, you know, I had learned how to be reserved. I'd learned how to not speak up in public. I learned to be afraid because our culture, our society, sometimes the people we associate with tell us that we cannot be who we know that we are. But I'm going to offer you something that we are going to work on in 2023, and I'm going to involve my entire team with it to talk about body health, to talk about mind health, and also to talk about financial health. Now, what am I pointing to here? It's all about recognizing your double consciousness. Yes. You, all beings, have a double consciousness. On the surface, the one that you are more familiar with is this personality that you think, that we think, that we are. The one that says, you know, I don't feel comfortable in large crowds. The one that says, you know, I feel like an imposter. The one that says, you know something, I can never be a good student, a good writer. I could never be the best surgeon on the planet. This consciousness on the surface is the personality, is the you that you see in the mirror. It's the you, if you're a man, that you shave. If you're a lady, you know, that you do your hair. It's the you that you think you want to look good and that you have to look good and you've got to be a certain way in order to be successful in life. And we all have this personality. It doesn't matter who this we are. You can go from the president of the United States to the prime minister of England to any head of state anywhere around the world. You can go to medical schools, law schools, business schools, major universities, scientists. We are all plagued with this notion that we are this personality. And if you listen to the voice of the personality, it's always holding us back. It's always telling us we're not good enough. It's always telling us we're not good communicators. I'll tell you, in my personal life, I spent a lot of time believing that I could not even communicate effectively because I was listening to that personality. Now, I am not the only one. I'm absolutely willing to confess this to you, that this happened to me. But the personality I have discovered is not primary. The personality actually is not who you are. The personality is the one that you have learned about. The personality is the voice in your head. And the voice in your head usually 
is up to no good. But I have good news for you. You are more than a personality. You are like that kid that you were before you were 10 years old. The kid who was just willing to do things. The kid who was just willing to play and play and play. The kids who knew what he wanted or knew what she wanted. You are that kid. You are that kid and that part of you is the core part of who you are. It supersedes the personality. The personality has no power. The personality, though, can get loud. But who you are is where the power is. And who you are is where the juice is. And when you discover, get a glimpse, get a taste, get a hint of who you are beyond the personality is where in body you can be the most healthy person you can be for you. Now, all of us are not going to be track stars. That's, that's just the way of it. That's not just the way of it. But for you, in your body condition, you can be the most healthy individual that you are. The same applies to our mind health. And I've teamed with some great you know, experts, some great coaches, some great teachers who are going to lead us through this. You can be as healthy as you are at the mind level and you can achieve financial success if you want it. Opportunity is all over the place, all over the land, especially if you're in the Western world. If this resonates with you, you know, send me a message. Uh, share the news. 2023, we'll be talking about it. The possibilitarians are coming. Mind health, body health, financial health. Happy New Year, everyone. Until next time, good day.